Well, Janet's a very caring person. She thinks the best of people, and she's willing to help anybody that needs help. And she's always thinking of somebody else other than herself. If you want to get something done, and you want it done right, and you want somebody that has energy and, and will help you, you're going to want Janet on your team. She's an influencer, and she does it in such a way that people want to um, see her side of things. So she's very, very effective in that regard. She's really what's uh, the glue that's kind of pulled everybody together in a lot of ways to work collaboratively and collectively in proper County. I was raised by a philanthropist father. I mean, he was an attorney, but he was very, very active all the time in philanthropic things. And um, I think he's the one that gave me the vision that you have to really give back to where you're living and make it a better place. The seeds were planted in the Community Foundation, to, to created the Community Foundation, but it was honestly after Janet became executive director is when that thing just took off. She had more vision, I think, than, than what the board had. The board, you know, obviously give her the strength and said, you know, yes, we're all for this, but it was her effort and her energy that, that, that moved it. A foundation director can simply manage the funds and manage the process or they can lead, and Janet has led. She hasn't let management get in the way of the idea, the visions that were there. This foundation was originally Bucyrus Area Community Foundation, which really meant that. Yes, it encompassed some of the other communities in Crawford County, but not all. And Janet was determined that we will include all of Crawford County. You have to see the potential in the community. You have to see all aspects of the community. So you really have to have a big vision of what makes a community a place you want to live and a place you want to work. She got people in Crawford County genuinely interested in what we could do with our own money in our own county. And this community, for sure, bought into it completely because they knew that whatever they gave would stay here and they could see the fruits of what they had given. Janet has the ability to take a, a challenge or a, an issue, break it down into essential components, and then uh, create a very um, precise action plan. She's got a tremendous mind that way. And then on top of that, she also knows what to say, um, when to say it, and to whom to say it to. Her greatest achievement, I think, is running that foundation like a business. She completely computerized the operation, set up a set of books with it, and ran it like a business, and encouraged people to go out and saw people uh, to basically do business with the foundation and grew that foundation from about 1.9 million to 14.5 million dollars in the period of time that she was there. Just, the, just recently, the grants that the Community Foundation awarded this year, over $400,000 for this past year alone. We went from basically one unrestricted fund, and we now have 40 plus funds, uh, scholarship funds, school endowment funds, and it just grows from there. If you look around at all the different projects that the community has and, and the murals and the baseball fields and, and the agricultural societies and all, the, all those things, those, those are a result of the, of the Community Foundation. We look at things like impact on the community, how many people will be impacted. Are we covering all the different areas uh, within the county because we want to support the arts and animals and recreation and education and um, all the, you know, so we try to make sure that we're covering all those different aspects in our grant making. Personally, it's easy to like Janet and for a lot of people it's easy just to find her very easy to get along with and so if she's asked to be in every committee and every organization, it's not just her influence, although that's been uh, huge in the past, but it's also because she's just kind of fun to be with. She's always smiling and I've never seen her have a real a bad day. And she's always been there for me if I needed to talk or, you know, need something done, she's always been there. 
she's someone I can always count on. She's in a lot of pieces of my life. She's talked me into things that I didn't want to do. It came out pretty well. Um, she is, she's very persuasive. She helps a lot of nonprofits when nobody else will help them and tries to bring some semblance, some order to their organization to try and run, a, try and run their organization in a business-like manner that improves their organization as well as the quality of life in Crawford County. I really got to know her very well through our association with the Harvey One Room School Restoration Project. When we needed to put down a new floor, we wrote a grant and the foundation approved the grant. We applied for a huge grant, $25,000 through the Ohio Cultural Facilities Commission and we were able to receive that grant to put in a bell tower on the school. Janet was a lifesaver for me because she had the contacts and the wherewithal. Janet and myself and, and Dave Williamson became the, the nucleus for the Success Center, bringing it to uh, service here in Crawford County and to bring uh, post-secondary education to Crawford County. Throughout all that, uh, Janet uh, was able to maintain the course and the focus. Janet was one of the main movers in the entire effort. Did a, just a fantastic job. In fact, the Success Center was a 10-year goal. We hoped to have it completed by 2020, so we're, we, we came in about five years ahead of time. Crawford 2020 Vision was an offshoot of our economic development um, group then in Bucyrus and Dave Williamson in particular. We really felt we had to get a pulse on the community and what the community thought was needed to make Crawford County a better place. We collaborated a lot and I found a real advocate for what we were talking about because she was already talking about that. She gave a lot of credit to other people, but believe me, without her vision and without the foundation's support, Crawford 2020 vision never would have gotten off the ground. I mean, I don't think there's many small communities like ours that are really tackling some of these big problems. Part of it is realizing, you know, the government's not gonna come and help us in Crawford County. We're, we're kind of overlooked, so if we're not gonna take the bull by the horns and figure it out ourselves, it's not gonna happen. Getting national standards just means that we're operating to the highest level of what community foundations should be doing. And so it was very important to, for me, that was one of my goals before I retired, was to get us to national standards because other people looking at us, if we want to go out and, and find money ourselves, it gives us that um, credibility that I think you need, especially when you're asking people to give you their money. We grew like Topsy. And then she made an announcement that, you know what guys, when we get to 10 million, I think I'll retire. She held to it and she turned us over and I think we're in good hands with Lisa Workman. What I've realized is that passion is infectious and you can get a lot of things done by just getting people on board and sharing that passion. Just as uh, the Community Foundation owes a huge debt to the Timken Foundation for its funding that got it started, the challenge from Timken years ago, that's the kind of thing that this community really owes and our partnership and the schools and others owe Janet. It's gonna benefit this community, this county for decades, for years to come. Janet, you are so deserving of this award. You have a lot of drive and a lot of uh, good that you've given to the community and um, I've just loved working with you and having you as my support system through all the things we've done together. Thank you uh, for all you've done for, for, for the community and for me. There's nothing that she hasn't done that I haven't been proud of. I think, I think she's done a wonderful job with the foundation and I never realized it until after I wrote down some things that she did at the foundation of how it progressed during her tenure there as the executive director of it. I don't know how she could do it any better.